Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how to send an email alert whenever the status of a case is updated. So here we have a case and then I'm going to send an email to the contact who has raised the case that whenever a status is updated to escalated, it sh they should receive an email. So we're going to do this using email alert. So before we create an email alert, we need to ensure that we have our email template. I have already created an email template called new case email template and here I have added the merge tags so that it picks up those fields and added it, adds it to the email. So and now we're going to go and create an email alert. Description. object we are going to use is case because since it's that object from which the email is going to be sent and we're going to select the email template that we had created earlier so for the recipient we have to ensure that it gets sent to the contact in the case so i'm going to add them and that's the main settings for an email alert now that we have an alert we need to have an automation that detects when we need to send the alert so we can use a process builder for this so i've already started creating the process builder so its main object is case and I've created a condition where the step first it checks whether the status is changed. Otherwise, every time you save the case, it keeps sending out the emails which we don't want. And it, then it will check if the status is escalated. So only if both these conditions are completed, the email gets sent out. So now I'm going to add an action, select email alert. I'm selecting the email alert from here. I'm going to save this <coughs> and let's activate. And now I'm going to the case and let's see if it's working. So I'm going to update the status to escalated. So now the process builder should have detected that the status is changed and the status is escalated so it should send out the email alert so i have received another email and you can see the merge tags are filling correctly where we have the case number and the case owner's name and the case owner email and that's one of the ways you can use an email alert and you can add this to different kinds of automations to send all kinds of emails.